a YouTube Mickey. Alright, Dual Survival Part Season 3. I've managed to uh, have a mate of mine that uh, did something and I've got Seasons 1 to 7 on a USB stick. Just for the Americans, in Australia it hasn't been released yet. Uh, I think it's coming out next week or the next couple of weeks in, in Australia. I've watched episodes 1 to 7 of season 3. Um, so Render, if you're watching man, um, send me a, a personal message. Give me your address and I'll, I'll send you a USB stick with the uh, all 7 episodes of season 3 man. So, yeah, send me something and I'll just copy it on a USB and send it to you bro. Um, so look, you know, I've had shit five and a half thousand views on my uh, first video on Dual Survival 3 about my disappointment that Dave Canterbury wasn't on there. And, uh, and I am still very disappointed that he's not on there. But in saying that, I am actually still enjoying Dual Survival Season 3 just for the aspect of, of learning. But in saying that, you know, they did an episode, I'm not sure what episode it was, but they did an episode of them being in Africa, and it was pretty much similar to what Dave Canterbury and Cody Glendine did, I think, season two in Africa, or it could have been season one, I don't know, don't quote me. But it was pretty much exactly the same thing. So that was, that was a bit of bullshit. But, you know, look, in saying that, I love any channel that shows you how to survive and do things to, to survive, and, you know... I'm actually quite, I'm enjoying it, kind of, if you can say that. Uh, I'm enjoying Dual Survival Season 3, kind of. It's still watchable. Yes, it was more enjoyable when Dave Canterbury was there, but it's still watchable. But, in my eyes, Cody Dean seems to be like a little puppy dog. He seems to be following this Joe Teddy bloke. And, um... I don't know, I just get that feeling that he's not, he doesn't take control, you know, like he argues the point, oh no, we should do this, oh no, we shouldn't do that, you know, like, there's one episode in Africa where, you know, Joe Teddy said, oh no, look, I'll sleep, I'll sleep in this little um, thorn kind of tent, you know what I mean, um, you know, just a little, little pocket of area where there's all trees and shrubs and shit around and some thorns, I'm sleeping here, and Cody goes, no, nah, I'm not sleeping there, I'm sleeping up this tree. And Joe Teddy goes, well, you know, tigers or lions or whatever can climb up trees, you know, you're not safe there, you know what I mean? Which is true. Um, you know, snakes can get up there, things can still get you. And Cody's logic was, well, a rhino or an elephant won't get me up here, which is kind of true too. So, they got their different thoughts. So, Cody slept up the tree, Joe Teddy slept on the, in that little area, and, um... I don't know for a fact that they slept it all night, you know, it could be bullshit, you know, they could have went back to a hotel and then, you know, cut scene, back in Africa, who knows. But, um, I've had a lot of comments, not personally to me, but people commenting on that video, the first one, as I said, I've had over five and a half thousand views and a lot of people were just going at it with each other. Um, so, I don't know guys, look, you know, to be honest, again, I, I enjoy Dual Survival Season 3 because I just like that survival stuff. Um, I wish Dave Canterbury was still there with Cody, because I think, you know, Season 1, Season 2, you know, obviously the first couple of episodes, um, Dave Canterbury was getting over the fact that Cody walks, walks uh, barefoot. Season 1, Season 2, they kind of made this bond together and um, I think Season 3 would have been great because that bond would have been there and, um, you know, they wouldn't be arguing so much because they've been so used to each other for two seasons that, you know, they just do their shit and get the fuck out of the situation. Where this new bloke, you know, he's constantly arguing, Cody's arguing, they're disagreeing on a lot of shit. Yes, they agree on some stuff. And there's compromises there, and um, this and that. You know, there's no doubt that that Joe Teddy has Teddy, sorry, has um, 
20 years army experience, so he, you know, he knows his shit in regards to a lot of stuff. No doubt about that, man. I'll give him that, you know. I'll give him that. So, um... So, yeah. Oh, this is the last video I'm going to do on Dual Survival 3. I think I've done three videos on it. Because, um, I mean, I keep watching these episodes and, um... You know, when I commented, I only watched, I think, one or two episodes. And then my second video, I watched maybe two or three episodes. Now I've seen all seven. And I kind of get a, a, a bit of a different perspective on it now. Um, so, you know, never judge a book by its cover, I guess. That's a favourite term there. So, look, um, when it does come out to Australia, I recommend watching it. It, it is still a good series. Um, I just still wish Dave was there, and um, I just can't help that. I just wish Dave was still there. I just like Dave, you know. I, mean? I like Dave and Cody together. So, but that's not going to happen. So, obviously, don't worry about that. But, um, but yeah. So, and you'll find that actually between episode one and seven, there's two um, episodes in Africa. I think one in South Africa and one in. Zambezi or somewhere, don't quote me on that, but uh, they're, they're pretty interesting interesting ones and a bit of hairy situations happen, so, um, but I don't know, I've just got a feeling a lot of the scenarios of, uh, no, actually I won't even say it, that's fine. Look, guys, that, that's me on Dual Survival 3, um, look, I'll, I'll continue to watch it and um, I will continue to enjoy it and... Um, not for the fact that, uh, how can I say it, um, I wish Dave was still on there, but I still enjoy the learning aspect of, of, of it, you know, a lot of things are just repeats and the same shit that we all friggin' know that we've seen on season two and, and one, but it's just good to still watch, you know what I mean, it's just something out there to watch, um, so, so yeah, so, that's my take on it, guys, so, um, Jesus.